descendants of dragon. Wang Shenzai, who is now a house church leader, was once a Red Guard commander. In order to show his loyalty to Chairman Mao, he persecuted his own mother because of her belief in Jesus. Because I was an activist in the Cultural Revolution, I put up a big poster to criticize my mother publicly. I didn't want to have anything to do with her, especially politically. It didn't matter that she was my mother. In spite of what I did, she prayed for me and fasted for 20 days. This made me think, if something were definitely bad for them, a mother would not want her children to have anything to do with it. Why did she pray and fast for 20 days for my salvation? I had to think about that. She would risk her own life so that her child might come to believe in Jesus, while the same Jesus was denounced, convicted, and labeled as evil by our country. I was wondering, but couldn't figure out why. One day, my second sister came home and asked me if I'd like to read a book. Yes, I said. In those days, I welcomed any books. Later, she gave me a book that had no cover and no back. It was worn out all the way to the seventh chapter of Matthew. The moment I started reading it, I was moved. In chapter 7 it said, Do not judge or you will be judged. Whatever measure you use to give to others, the same measure will be given to you. This is so true, I thought. When I asked my sister who wrote it and told her it was so well written, she thought I had already accepted Jesus. She said they were Jesus' words. I was furious. I threw the book out into the yard. That hurt my sister so much, worse than a wound. She rushed outside and picked up the Bible. Then she told me that a sister in Christ had died during the Cultural Revolution in order to save this Bible. Wang Shinsai's sister brought a Christian to see him. Later, this brother died in jail. I invited him into my room. When he saw all the books on my desk, he asked me if I had read them all. I said that I had. Then he said, you must be a seeker of truth. I said, yes. He told me that I wouldn't be able to find truth on earth. Real truth comes from above. He gave me an example. There was an apricot tree laden with ripe yellow fruit that fell to the ground came by and ate the apricot. Afterwards, the pig dug at the earth with his snout to try to find more. It didn't know to look up and see that the apricot had come from above. I thought the story was very philosophical. He didn't mention Jesus at all, or anything about the Bible. Later on, I felt an explosive force within me and said, I believe. After I said that, I felt my face turn red. The blush was hotter than being caught stealing. After becoming a believer, Wang Shinsai was eager to find the Bible he had thrown away, and he did manage to track down the Bible's owner. I said I'd like to trade my bicycle for your old Bible. I offered my new pigeon brand bicycle, but he said no. In those years, a brand new bicycle cost as much as a car does today. However, a Bible was an invaluable treasure for a Christian. The church was shut down and from 1958 on, there were no gatherings. But an elderly sister fasted, prayed and cried out to the Lord every day. She cried for the future of the Chinese church. During the Cultural Revolution, they found the Bible in her house and took her away. They beat her and broke one of her feet. There was only one torn apart Bible that survived the Cultural Revolution within 50 miles of our home. It had the New Testament, but only from Romans chapter 12 to Revelation chapter 11. We wanted to study it, 
but the owners wouldn't lend it out. It was their treasure. So we had to go over there to copy it. Every week, we had to make two or three trips. The first Bible I received was from a sister. Someone from Hong Kong had given it to her. During our meeting, we passed it around so that everyone could touch and feel it for a while. Everybody held it to their cheeks and kissed it. After being kissed by 30 people, the Bible was soaked with tears and the red color became faded. During the Cultural Revolution, Chinese Christians risked their lives to preserve a few Bibles. But toward the end, a lot of hand-copied Bibles became available. And overseas believers began to smuggle Bibles to house churches across the country. It was not until 1985, sponsored by a Western foundation, that Bibles were printed in China in large quantities. But even today, public distribution is not permitted. People who want to own a Bible must buy one at a three-self church. <laughs> 